what's up guys rgt85 here and today on the channel we're going to be doing something a little bit different we're actually going to be doing something a little bit different for the next few days i'm going to be out of town for retro world expo which is this saturday and sunday september 8th and 9th at the uh hartford civic center convention center i think it's called the convention center nowadays in hartford connecticut now i will only be at the convention on saturday but i do have a panel at 6 p.m so if you're at that convention make sure you come by and say hi i'll have shirts and all sorts of stuff but basically i will be out of town and usually when I go out of town for conventions I film a bunch of videos and just sort of spread them out but honestly I was thinking I wanted to do something different I wanted to do something to maybe help out other people help out other channels because I'm friends with a lot of channels and some of these channels are much smaller than my channel and I remember a couple years ago gamester 81 actually gave me a chance to be on his channel he basically had other people send him videos and he uploaded them on his channel and my channel was a lot smaller at that time and I remember that really helping out my channel getting new viewers getting new subscribers and really sort of you know influencing my channel and helping my channel grow so I thought to myself you know what that would be really cool I'm friends with a lot of smaller youtubers and I really like their content I usually watch their content so I want to give these dudes a chance to shine so over the next couple days you're gonna be seeing some different faces on the channel basically doing videos that they would do on their channel but maybe you know the YouTube algorithm doesn't pick up their videos so people don't get to see it but hopefully this way they'll be able to grow and get new subscribers and new viewers I will be making cameos in all of these videos so don't worry if you want to see my ugly face I will be here so for the first video this is kind of cheating maybe but I think small is definitely relative in this situation so you guys might remember I used to got my start on YouTube with Nintendo enthusiast I was a part of their website for many years still friends with all those guys but when I left and Jason left Nintendo enthusiast YouTube channel unfortunately there's 25,000 subscribers there but a lot of the viewer base went away and although there's still a huge subscriber amount the viewers aren't really indicative of that subscriber count so I feel like that channel definitely needs some love and it definitely needs some new eyes and fresh viewers because I feel like a lot of those youtubers that were subscribed to this channel could just be older accounts that haven't been flushed down the drain so today I want to show you guys my buddy Brett because Brett has taken over the Nintendo enthusiast YouTube channel and he's been doing a lot of cool stuff over there Brett basically wanted to make a video talking about the Nintendo switch third parties and success of that and what it holds for the future of the system and I thought it was a great idea so Brett Brett made this video for you guys sit back relax make sure you subscribe to Nintendo enthusiast channel and let's check out what Brett has to say how's it going RGT 85 fans I'm glad Sean has given me this opportunity so I won't waste any time and I want to jump right into a video and it's basically going to be about the switch and how it's succeeding and how it's it's bringing on a bunch of awesome developers and, and third-party devs are taking notice so let's just jump right in it's been almost a year and a half since the Nintendo switch launched and the console handheld hybrid has received some incredible support from a slew of developers many developers and publishers were seemingly waiting for the switch to prove its viability in the market in fear of another Wii U blunder. Luckily, Nintendo sold 14.8 million units in its first year on the market, outpacing the phenomenon that was the Wii. Now, the Nintendo Switch is a beloved console by millions of gamers across the globe. While the Nintendo Switch has been thriving in the indie scene for quite some time now, more big third-party developers are starting to take notice. Massive multiplayer hits like Paladins and Warframe are making their way over because they want some of that Switch money-making pie. It began with Rocket League, the wildly popular sock car title that garnered a huge following on PS4 and PC and then later on Xbox One. It was announced during one of the Nintendo Spotlight presentations early last year, and Rocket League went on to find a new home on Switch last November, and the reception was positive. Another thing to note is that Rocket League has consistently been in the top 10 best-selling category on the Switch eShop since launch last year. Obviously, developer Psyonix made the right choice bringing its rocket power battle cars to Nintendo Switch. And the minds over at High res Studios must have caught wind of all the success games we're finding on Switch because they recently brought their incredibly popular hero shooter, Paladins, to the Nintendo Switch. And I've been seeing a lot of buzz around that game ever since. The shooter has likely captivated a whole new audience on Switch, much like Fortnite. Of course, I can't go without mentioning Fortnite, this mega popular battle royale shooter 
caught fire last year and then it recently, kinda recently, came to Nintendo Switch. Epic and Nintendo both enjoy making money, so it only makes sense to put the world's most popular game on the fastest selling console. This is also the first Switch title Nintendo has showed its willingness to allow voice chat in game. Which leads to my next topic. Nintendo is not the same company that they were just last gen, which is a great thing. One important thing I wanted to go over is that for the first time in a long time, Nintendo's third party titles on Switch are reflecting the same content found on other platforms. One thing is clear, in terms of hardware, the leap between consoles isn't as drastic as it used to be. During the Wii 360 PS3 generation, most third party titles on Wii looked and played wildly different in comparison to the other versions. Those days are in the past, and now Nintendo's latest hardware can play most of the other games on other platforms without an unbearable graphical sacrifice. Nintendo is making huge steps forward in terms of catering to developers' needs. Whether it's crossplay in titles like Rocket League and Paladins, or voice chat in Fortnite, and hopefully more games to come. One thing is certain, the once stubborn and stuck in its old ways company is finally opening up to new and exciting ventures that surely paint a brighter future for the Switch and Nintendo as a whole. So what I've been driving at and trying to get to is that I think these heavy hitting titles like Arena, Valor, Rocket League, Warframe, and Fortnite, all on Switch, are going to attract other developers. It's only a matter of time before Overwatch, Grand Theft Auto V, and more popular titles make their way to the Nintendo Switch. Hell, honestly, I wouldn't completely count out seeing some unlikely games like League of Legends or Rainbow Six Siege. Nintendo is full of surprises lately, and with its upcoming online subscription service, I'm sure the company is looking for more multiplayer titles to add to its catalog. Let's face it, companies want to make money, and if more big publishers see the viability in the Switch, they are sure as hell going to find a way to get their games running on the Switch hardware. Panic Button just might have their work cut out for them. That's all I really wanted to talk about today, guys. I think there's a whole host of reasons why the Nintendo Switch is succeeding, and why Nintendo as a company is in a much better place than they were just a few years ago. Let me know what you think down in the comments section below. Shout out to Sean Long, RGT85, for giving me this platform, giving me this chance to talk a little bit about the Switch and everything like that. I do videos like this all the time, opinion piece videos. We do traditional reviews over here. There's other people involved. I make most of the videos, so if you don't mind seeing this ugly mug, be sure to subscribe to my channel, Nintendo Enthusiast. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I will talk to you later. Yeah, I really like that video. I think he makes a lot of good points, especially about the third parties having to basically just downgrade things for the Nintendo Switch because, you know, we saw it so much during the Xbox 360 era and the PS3 era, and a lot of these games still came to the Wii. Games like NBA Live, NBA 2K, Call of Duty. All of these games were still showing up on the Wii because the Wii was selling so well. And I always say that Western developers don't necessarily care about power and specs. They care about what systems are are selling. If a calculator starts selling well, they're going to do everything they can to try and put their games on this calculator if this calculator has a gaming sort of presence. So I definitely think Brett is spot on with this video and I really enjoyed this video. So once again, I want to thank Brett. Make sure you guys go check out Nintendo Enthusiast's YouTube channel. Give them some fresh blood. Give them some new life, some new blood flowing through their veins so that they could get back to a place where they need to be in terms of views and help them grow. And like I said, we're going to be looking at some much smaller channels in the next upcoming days so make sure you guys stick around for that it's a really fun time there's going to be a lot of cool different videos on the channel and i think you guys will enjoy them so make sure you check out nintendo enthusiast and as always i will catch you guys on the next video later